Ron, you are, <laughs> you are too human to be a Republican. Uh, <laughs> Tonight, the man credited by many with lighting the fire that became the Tea Party. For the last two years at the conservative CPAC convention in Washington, D.C., the winner of the straw poll this year, Congressman Ron Paul. Dr. Paul, an obstetrician and gynecologist by trade, served eight years in the House in the late 70s and early 80s. Paul ran for president as the nominee for the Libertarian Party in 1988, and was elected again to the House as a Republican in 1996. The Tea Party movement is largely based on ideas and platforms Ron Paul has been talking about for decades. What attracted you to him as a candidate, as a politician, as a person, and why do you think his message uh, resonates so much with the youth here in America? If you uh, think back to two years ago, I wasn't political at all, and I know a lot of his supporters were in the same position. We were just tired of politics as usual. We didn't think we had a voice. We didn't think there was a person that was involved in politics that wasn't corrupt and that we could actually get behind and have some excitement and hope about and then ron paul starts to kind of you know you hear about him and there are videos on youtube and you you hear things like he voted against the patriot act he votes consistently against regulating the internet against the war you know and and then also things like he doesn't participate in the congressional pension program he returns a portion of his budget to the u.s treasury and this is the kind of guy that we want leading our country i mean you just you see something like that and you look at his consistent 20-year voting record and you just want to do everything you can to get that person in charge of of the united states and getting us back on track he's gained momentum and i think that's really attractive and it's attracted a lot of people from various political uh, perspectives. If you want any sort of change in the government today, we have to get behind someone who is willing to stick to their guns and stick to their principles, even if we don't agree with 100% of what they're saying. Were you uh, as surprised as I when you saw one uh, Williams column this morning uh, in which he says Ron Paul is the most intellectually honest, most uh, most consistent in his views, and shockingly is now leading in the polls and in money raising. Well, no, I wasn't surprised, and there is a CNN poll where Ron Paul actually is is looks like the man to beat because he's the one who comes the closest to beating Barack Obama within about seven points, which is pretty incredible. Uh, I wasn't surprised at what Juan wrote because I felt the same way. I, I feel the same way about Ron Paul, and you know, when I was watching the debate, I also felt like, why don't the Republicans want to vote for? this guy you know he's great but that's kind of the problem for Ron Paul I think well and I just think the fact that he can appeal to people like me or to people like Juan and I don't think either of us are saying we would vote for him but that we find him appealing sort of explains why he would have a problem with the conservative base uh, in the Republican Party oh. uh, but but what's appealing about him overall is that he is intellectually honest and that he ha obviously has a lot of integrity he says things that uh, are unpopular quite often he's been called crazy it doesn't matter he never backs down you know and he and he has he has stayed the course on what he believes and now suddenly people are coming around even some Republicans and saying you know what you're right we shouldn't have invaded Iraq. Ron Paul you're a very popular guy because you're an honest guy. Now here's a guy who doesn't often backpedal right or wrong he's known for sticking with his positions and he says his campaign message is a simple but profound one we want our freedom back. He's been an outspoken critic of the wars we're currently fighting He's known for clashing with leaders of his own party, and he had a rapidly loyal following on the presidential campaign trail back in 08. Wow. I mean, you know, the, the amazing thing is that you almost, you, 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 you don't seem like a Republican to me, like that I've ever heard. You seem so reasonable. Uh, <laughs> no, honestly, you really do. You, you, you seem to make sense, which I, I, I don't attribute to very many pol politicians. Well, last time around, Ron Paul got virtually no publicity, and he still had a big impact. And they felt he influenced other political candidates to talk about these things. He is uh, he's an independent, very independent guy. He doesn't play by the rules. And so the, he's always sort of been off by himself in the Republican caucus. Uh, going back to 1996. Well, the there's Republican. something to him, though, because he's got this really fervent following. And, you know, John, when you hear him talk, he's, a, he's an extremely impressive man. I, when I said Republicans thought he was crazy, he's an, he's an extremely impressive man. He's brilliant. He didn't, and he practices, what he practices what he preaches. He doesn't let his daughter, didn't let his children take student loans out from the federal government. He's a doctor that doesn't take Medicare or Medicaid. And 
tell you why. Like, like my 19-year-old son, who's not excited about any candidates, was saying, man, I went on these websites and everybody's excited about this guy. You've also really um, built up a reputation for living out your libertarian principles. You served, as you said, 20 years in Congress, but you're not going to take a congressional pension. Right. Uh, as an obstetrician, you never took Medicare or Medicaid for your patients. Never. You didn't allow your, your children to take student loans for college? No, because my goal was that they uh, would work and I would help them and that it wouldn't have debt. You get the sense that the country is desperate for someone to show us the way. Not the old way, not the same way, but a new way. Think about this for a minute. What if we pulled all of our troops out of South Korea? They've been there for 50 years, tens of thousands of them. What if we quit worrying about Iran and instead realize that it's having a nuclear weapon isn't the end of the world? What if we pulled all our troops out of Iraq, brought them all home? What if we realistically addressed the debt and paid attention to the huge burden we're placing on generations to come? Guess whose ideas these are? And you hardly ever hear his name. This is Republican candidate Ron Paul. Ron Paul, who raised more than $5 million in the third quarter, trailing not far behind fellow Republicans like John McCain and Fred Thompson. Ron Paul, who has a huge Internet following. He's a congressman, a physician who's delivered more than 4,000 babies. Ron Paul has been married to the same woman for 50 years, which means he doesn't come to the race with a lot of the assorted baggage that some of the other candidates for the White House do. I mean, Ron Paul is at least not a pander. He's sincere. Uh, he's got the right ideas about uh, getting our troops home and, uh, you know, I like Ron Paul. I think he's a cut from a different cloth than the rest of those people who are, of course, selling their souls to the corporate interests who back them. I never heard of him before. Yeah. And yet I thought he was just right on the money. You did? Yes, I did. I, for one, hope Ron Paul is the last man standing against the eventual nominee in the Republican campaign. As soon as his presidential campaign microphone is turned off, he will return to the quiet life of an ignorable member of Congress. And eloquence, decency, and political bravery.